Hello, so we're here today reviewing the Melissa Alpha. Melissa Alpha is the top version of uh, Melissa's machine, Melissa Urbine's cup manufacturer, the German one. Um, so, first things first, I'll just start with some general points on the machine. Very solid build, so you've got this metal uh, dispensing nozzle here that goes up and down. Very, very solid build. You've got your steam arms over here, hot water. Uh, over here, we've got our coffee section where our coffee cakes go. Uh, you can have that connected to a, a pipe which will basically dump the coffee cakes below the self-service areas we don't want to be emptying that all of the time um, you've also got a significant cup rail for a beans cup machine on the top really um, so plenty of space there to put your cups on to keep them warm and it is heated um, you've got your selections on the screen here you can scroll to the right and have more selections so for example these could be page one I flick to the right at page two and, and so on. So I have a lot of different options that I can have uh, on this machine. Uh, over here I've got my steam selections as well. So there are a few versions of the Alpha. This version here is uh, basically turbo steam version so it will automatically foam the milk for me. There's a manual steam version which means it operates more or less like a traditional machine but just automates the espresso for you. Uh, and then there's the basically the um, full uh, cappuccino tori version which will have uh, your Venturi foam system uh, fitted onto here so you just simply pick the drinks from here and it will dispense everything straight into the cup there's no need to foam milk and so on at the side these can be taken off so you can have it specced up so you don't have that for self-service areas you don't want customers turning the steam on and burning themselves obviously so you just want your drink selections and so on which would be on here okay so uh, on that system as well the point to note is the it doesn't just use venturi it uses something called the geared milk pump geared milk pump is very good what it does is it basically slows down speeds up the delivery of the milk through this through the jet of steam basically that produces the foam uh, in in the in the drink uh, why, why do you want that? Well, if you imagine most beans cup machines, the problem is that the, the milk's not hot enough, the drink's not hot enough. So what that does is it allows you, obviously, if you slow down the flow of the milk through the steam, it's in the steam for longer, therefore you will get a higher temperature on the milk foam. Um, if you basically, that will also, as you have the milk in there for longer, it will smash apart the larger bubbles, producing smaller bubbles. So you end up with a tighter milk foam, more like what you'd use uh, what you'd get out of a professional barista using a traditional machine. So that geared milk pump really does give you some, some nice options. It's also better at cleaning itself through, so there are hygiene benefits to a geared milk pump also. Okay, so the machine's high capacity, it's basically 150, 160 drinks upwards, depending on what volumes of cups that you're using. Can be three phase, can be single phase. Okay, uh, three phase does allow you to basically get more power into the machine, essentially you've got three lives going in, um, so you can run uh, most operations on the machine simultaneously because you've got more lives going into the system. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I will make a, a coffee on the machine, so uh, I'll start with an espresso and I'll turn that into a cappuccino. Okay, so you've got two hoppers on the top. Um, so you can have uh, your own coffee and a decaf version, or maybe have a blend over here like a house one, and then you'd have your uh, seasonal or uh, single estate one over on the right. Um, you could then use that to do your decaf, which is located on the top. So you put your scoop of your decaf in there. That's also used for cleaning. Okay, so my espresso has been made. Okay, so I will uh, just set this going. Okay, so top one's cappuccino, is we've set these up so you can adjust the amount that the air valve's on. That will adjust how near or far you are from a cappuccino. Essentially, uh, you've got the air valve fully open, that will give you more of a cappuccino. Uh, you know, high, high degree of foam, you've got to open a bit less. Uh, that will get you more towards a latte, flat white, and then the bottom one is manual. Uh, so the manual one, uh, you have to basically foam it yourself that the air valve isn't on. Okay, so I'll select the top one. Okay, also has a temperature gauge inside it as well. So, not only will it foam the milk, but it will also automatically turn itself off when the milk gets to gets the temperature. So, it's totally hands off from my point of view, uh, but it's giving a similar sort of uh, theatre as you'd get from a traditional machine, but without me possibly making a mistake. Okay, so you can see it's really proper the milk up there. To the top of the top of the jug, and it turns itself off when it reaches the right temperature. Okay, so just give that a bit of a urge. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got my milk phone here now, which I will uh, just tilt towards the camera so you can see. So I can play with my air valve and get different types of foam as well. Um, so if I want to do, we can actually get to the point where we can do uh, latte art on uh, these machines. Um, it can be done. Um, so that gives you an idea of the quality of the foam that you can produce on this. So there is your cappuccino. Okay. Uh, you can do two at the same time. So if you've done two espressos, had a bit more milk, foam than enough for two. And so you can really pound out the coffees on this faster than you could do probably on a, on a traditional machine, but still getting that quality. So you're not relying on uh, the skill of the person using the machine. Uh, as I say, we can change all the parameters on this to produce a different type of milk foam. So you can see on that's really thick, really thick milk foam. Uh, so you're going to get you know good depth before you're hitting any coffee. Okay, uh, and that's it really. The machine is very reliable. A lot of metal parts. So benefit of that is that you're not paying for someone to come out and fix it all of the time. It's got a huge boiler inside the machine. Uh, in fact, it's got two uh, boilers to be precise. Uh, so that basically that means that you essentially main thing with boilers really is if you've been to cup machines before you probably noticed that the milk foam isn't really very good on it you need that real head of uh, steam to create really good milk foam so having these large powerful boilers like you do on the alpha really helps to to generate that really and gets you the soft foam you get out of you know something like something like this or bigger so it gives you a, a really good quality milk foam so if you want to look like you're making a coffee from here but without any of the degree of inaccuracy that you'd normally get and you need to pound out 150 plus cups per hour this is the right machine for you or if you want a very high quality cup of coffee and you want to keep your staff hands off give milk pump version uh, and then you've got nice you know loads of selections on there so you can literally take a huge menu of drinks and put it all on there different sizes as well not a problem with this machine it's got you know large uh, shop baskets so it can handle you know different quantities of coffee the important thing to notice on that is they use a photochemical etched um, filters uh, on, the, on the metal filters on the machine what that does is it allows you to grind the coffee really fine that gives you a coffee that's more uh, in keeping with, you, with what you get on the traditional machines your espresso is a lot better on these machines than most these cup machines but also it will save you coffee so if you're doing 150 cups of coffee a day saving 20 30 percent off your coffee it's going to save you a lot of money um, you know typically some sites are saving 10 15 pound a day on the coffee on these machines which is more or less paying for the machine on a lease Okay, thank you very much for listening.